Good evening, Brazos Valley. Excuse the interruption one more time again. Uh, we got some more winter weather updates. Um, right now, here's what's going on. I would call this picturesque snow. So from my understanding, we got several more inches on the way around our area. Right now, snow's touching down, it's sticking, but it's not building up on that. So once the snow actually starts melting, it's gonna start creating some puddles. So when you're going out to work tomorrow, if you're heading out of the house today, um, it's gonna start creating puddles and it's gonna freeze over. So what I would say is make sure you're taking your time as you're navigating the sidewalks, navigating the stairs, uh, because it doesn't take a fast walker to slip and fall on these wet, frozen, icy sidewalks. Um, so we got a lot more snow coming on the way from my understanding. Right now, like I said, it's not too bad. Actually, once we started this live shot, it started to come down a little bit more. So I'm a little bit more colder than I was just a few uh, seconds ago. But right now, it's still not too bad. We're gonna get some more sticking throughout the area. Go take some pictures right now, guys, because this is the prettiest it's probably gonna get all night. But uh, right now, let's hear some more about the weather updates, what's going on around our area, turning things over Dr. Christopher Nunley with a first look at our weather. Tristan, I actually want to know where you got those, those AirPods because I need some. So if the station paying for those, I need to get hooked up. If you're listening, Roby, I need some AirPods. Look at the tower cam. All right, this is covered in ice. Normally it looks on Texas Avenue. Yeah, it's glazed with ice, picked up about a quarter of an inch of ice. That's important because with that ice and now the sleet falling out there, we're going to have snow on top of it. Travel conditions going to be downright nasty. Radar blowing up with activity over the past hour or so. So the radar the past 24 hours, it really hasn't shown too much, even though we've dealt with that freezing drizzle. And the reason why is the radar just doesn't detect drizzle too well. So we've been dealing with freezing drizzle for about 24 hours. Now we're starting to see that snow shield blow up across the Brazos Valley. Reason why, coastal low right here, bad boy developing off of the upper Texas coast. This is pumping in that moisture in the southeastern parts of the state. This activity to the south of I-10 going to slowly lift north over the next couple of hours. And it's going to get heavy at times. We're going to see some heavy snow in the Brazos Valley, heavy snow in northwestern parts of Texas, Wichita Falls, Abilene, moving toward the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Blizzard conditions with this heavy snow. Snowfall rates one to two inches per hour, wind blowing that snow around, keeping uh, those conditions near uh, zero in terms of the visibility. So whiteout conditions there. The reason we're seeing the precip and that coastal low this right here, this pesky upper level low moving into northern parts of Mexico. And until this passes, we're going to continue to deal with that freezing and frozen precipitation here. And that's what the future radar indicates. We're indicating that we're going to start to see that precipitation. She'll continue to expand across the Brazos Valley. And these numbers here, you want to know what these are? These are actually the winds. And the reason why I'm showing the winds and not the temperatures is because when you have those strong winds, and you pair that with that heavy snow, which is what future radar indicates is going to happen here. Those purple colors, heavy snow, that reduces the visibility. Visibility going to fall below a mile, probably below a quarter of a mile. So we're going to have legit whiteout conditions here, blizzard conditions across the Brazos Valley late tonight, continuing into tomorrow morning from 11 p.m to about 5 a.m. is that best opportunity to see the blizzard conditions across the Brazos Valley. Do not get on the roadway. Stay inside. Ice skating rink out there, wide out conditions. You want to make sure that you're, t you're playing it safe. We'll see the snow depart the Brazos Valley by lunchtime, but it's going to stick around with those cold temperatures. Winter storm warning for the entire Brazos Valley. This isn't for Valentine's Day, but happy Valentine's Day to you and your loved one. This is the winter storm warning continues all the way and tomorrow evening, I think this will get extended throughout the entire week because we have another winter storm on the way, which I'll talk about here in just a second. Hard to believe that we're dealing with these cold conditions. Temperature has fallen to 25 degrees in Bryan College Station. These dark blue areas, teens. So this is important because typically in the Brazos Valley, we see snow with temperatures around 31, 32, maybe even 33. Yes, above freezing, but those temperatures in the mid-20s and even the teens, that means whatever falls is going to stick like glue and that's going to lead to the dangerous travel conditions across the Brazos Valley. Even colder temperatures extending up in Oklahoma, below zero, even checking in in the teens in Dallas at this hour, 15 degrees. And those colder temperatures to the north, think about it. We have colder temperatures to the north. Those winds here are blowing from the north, so that means that cold air, it's actually going to move south into the Brazos Valley. So you think it's cold now, temperature is going to get a lot colder over the next 24 hours. So let me warm you up really quickly, okay? Let's go down to Miami, Miami. Remember that song from like the 90s or whatever? Temperatures in the 80s down here, 
the only warm part of the country, I would give uh, $10, because that's all I make. I give $10 to be in Florida. Nice temperatures there. Everybody else in the deep freeze across the lower 48. Texas specifically getting hit hard with this deep freeze. The entire state under a winter storm warning. All of Texas under a winter storm warning. Take a close look at this map right here. Screenshot it, take a picture. You're never going to see this again. You're never going to see all 254 counties, I believe, of Texas under a winter storm warning. Hard to believe. Same up in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, pretty much everybody under this winter storm warning. And the reason why is because we're expecting heavy snow out there. We've had the freezing rain, picked up about a quarter of an inch. Now we're seeing the sleet as the atmosphere continues to cool. We're going to see the snow. We're going to add snow on top of this. You're not dreaming. This is not a typo. Yes, we're expecting over a foot of snow here in the Brazos Valley, central and northern parts of the area. You're going to see some hefty snow accumulations. Yeah, some areas could see maybe up to 10 inches. So it's going to be a very dangerous uh, forecast and a very dangerous night. And that's going to continue into Monday morning, not only here, but in the Brazos Valley and even coastal parts of the state right here, expecting some heavy ice accumulations all the way down Harlingen, Brownsville. South Padre going to pick up a quarter, half an inch of ice. You typically go down to Padre to avoid this ice or to avoid the cold this time of the year. They're typically in the 70s, the 80s. No, they're dealing with this as well. They're even under a wind chill warning. So the entire state dealing with these conditions, blizzard conditions for the Brazos Valley, extending all the way into the Texas Panhandle over the next 12 hours or so. So make sure you're playing it safe out there, and especially with the temperatures. We're not only done with the snow and the ice, we're done with those cold temperatures. Wind chills here in the Brazos Valley are going to fall to about 10, maybe 15 degrees below zero tomorrow morning. And folks, this isn't just uncomfortable cold. This is dangerous cold. When you have temperatures that cold, you can't be outside with exposed skin for too long. Typically, you can't be outside longer than 30 minutes with these wind chills. So make sure you're playing it safe out there. Stay indoors. If you got to get outside, make sure you cover that exposed skin. And if you got to get on the roadways, which I recommend not to do, make sure you follow the proper safety procedures. But also, you need a kit in the car. You need a blanket because if you run off of the road with temperatures this cold, you don't want that to happen because it's very dangerous. And northern parts of Texas, 20, 30 degrees below zero are those feels like temperatures tomorrow morning. I can't stress it enough. Please stay inside if you can. If you're an employer, don't make your employees come into work. This is dangerous. Temperatures below freezing over the next few days. That's not a typo either. Negative one. That's the forecast low here in Bryan College Station. The record. The coldest has ever been here on record. That goes all the way back in the 1800s. Negative three. We're, we're going to challenge that, okay? It's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be like that Texas A&M LSU game that went to like seven overtime. So it's going to be competing. And I may need to lower this. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that over the next few days. This is the appetizer. We have another winter storm that's going to arrive late Tuesday into Wednesday. This looks more like a sleet, freezing rain event. Fingers crossed as a sleet event. We don't want freezing rain because the models are showing heavy accumulations. So if we get freezing rain, those trees, those power lines, they're coming down. We're going to have power outages for days, especially with those temperatures below freezing all the way into Friday. So let's hope that it's sleet, but it's looking like it's going to be a big event. But I have a little bit of good news on that 10-day forecast. Temperatures do start to warm up by the weekend. And uh, after all of us working this long shift, you best believe I'm going to go do something this weekend. And we finally have 70s in the forecast early next week. So if you like winter, enjoy it. You're going to have it for several days. But my spring lovers, just hold on. There is light at the end of this very long, long, long dark tunnel. We just have to wait a little bit longer. I'm not sure what we're doing right now. I think I'm going to toss things back out to Tristan maybe. Is he still out there or did he get too cold? I think he may have gotten too cold. He's frozen out there, okay? He like, uh, he's like uh, Elsa. Is that her name, Elsa, the, the frozen girl? Yeah, so uh, um, I guess that will be it for now. We're going to have updates continuing not only on air but on social media, so make sure that you continue to stay tuned. We're going to bring you that latest forecast and that latest radar as that snow continues to develop across the area. Be safe out there and uh, stay warm.